Buying your first caravan can be a head-spinning experience with countless brands, numerous designs and the odd dodgy manufacturer to deal with. But we reckon this brand new Adria shapes up as the perfect caravan for first-timers because it's light, easy to tow, well-built, comfortably equipped and stylish. So let's take a closer look. European-built Adria caravans have been available in Australia for many years and this 19-foot 11-inch single-axle Adora 542 PH Sport model is one of the latest to arrive down under. While based on a Euro model, the Aussie version has unique features such as side aluminium checker plate, a gas bayonet fitting and larger water tanks to make it more appealing to local buyers. The Adria's sleek, fully insulated composite body is a distinct point of difference to most big boxy Aussie caravans, as is its just over two tonne fully loaded weight, which is well under that of most similar size Aussie vans. Its sleek side profile and auto style design elements also match up perfectly with many alternative tow vehicles, including late model European and Korean SUVs. Of course, the other point of difference with the Adria is the inbuilt safety systems it comes with, like this Alco anti sway coupling, which in combination with the mechanical override brakes and the towing stability system, promotes a nice stable towing experience, even in severe crosswinds. And of course, the sleek aerodynamics and the lower body weight also helps with towing stability. While designed mostly for bitumen touring, the Adria does come with some off-road protection thanks to a hot-dipped galvanised chassis, although there's no additional shielding for the 130-litre poly water tanks. The low-slung van rides on Alco's trusty independent rubber suspension axle with shock absorbers, along with 15-inch alloy wheels and road tyres. There's not much in the way of other external features except for a roll-out awning and light, some electrical sockets including TV connections, a gas bayonet for a barbecue and a mains water connection, along with some storage options including a front locker for holding the spare wheel and twin 4.5 kilogram gas bottles. The Adria is designed more for caravan parks and off-grid camping, with just a single 100 amp hour AGM battery and charger fitted to keep a few things running if you can't plug in for the night. To enter the van you simply pull out the entry step, open the two-piece security door, so let's see what you get inside. If you're a fan of light and airy caravan interiors, smooth finishes and subtle mood lighting, you'll love the Adora 542 with its latest European curved furniture and decor, including decorative window curtains if you don't want to use the built-in blinds. Unlike some Adria vans that have semi-permanent main beds, this model has the desirable fixed north-south queen bed including an adjustable base so you can sit up in bed if you desire. However, the usual storage space underneath can only be accessed from outside. The large dinette also offers plenty of lounging as well as eating space and easily converts to another large bed by dropping the table and adding the cushion infills with sleeping space for one or two kids. The kitchen is spread over two areas and comes equipped with a three burner gas cooktop with glass lid, a stainless sink with flick mixer tap, oven and grill, plus a microwave and a good size 165 litre fridge freezer. There are a few kitchen cupboards and drawers, although bench space for food preparation is limited and there's no range hood to suck up the cooking smells. One thing we have noticed in the Adria is there's not quite as much internal storage as you might get in some similar size Aussie vans, thanks partly to the curved roof line and the Adria's slightly less body width. Also, to make room for the kitchen, the rear corner ensuite squeezes in a shower with curtain, cassette toilet, sink and mirror, which might put off a few buyers wanting more toweling off space, not to mention a dry toilet area. However, this Adria van is set up for year-round travelling comfort with its fully insulated composite body and both a floor-mounted ducted air conditioner and gas electric space heater, helping create a nice even temperature inside regardless of outside conditions. For entertainment, it's also fitted as standard with an 18.5-inch LED TV and antenna and a Bluetooth audio unit with two internal speakers. Anyway, let's hitch it up and see how it tows.
While we're using a dual cap ute for this review, the Adria van is really aimed at owners of smaller tow vehicles with its tear weight of just 1,610 kilograms and maximum 150 kilogram ball weight. While we haven't driven very far today, we have towed with other Adria and Euro built vans in the past over quite long distances and in varying weather and towing conditions. And we've never really had a problem with swaying or, or the sort of twitchiness that you often get with larger vans when cruising on the highway. And there's no reason to believe this latest Adria would be any different. The other thing we really like is it's a little less wider than some other caravans, so it's easy to keep in your lane, although you probably still need to use towing mirrors. The sub two-ton weight and slick aerodynamic design should also help with fuel economy, and the van's mechanical overrun brakes means you don't have the added cost of fitting an electric brake controller to the tow vehicle. So there's a lot to like about this latest Adria van, with the main drawbacks the lack of some off-grid features and ground clearance for travelling off the beaten track, along with the somewhat squishy bathroom. Adria vans are also not as affordable as they once were, with COVID-related cost pressures pushing the price of this one up to $80,000. But still, as a first caravan, or for those a little bit nervous about towing a full-height van, it makes a lot of sense.